Hello and welcome back to AP Tech uh, Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, download and install uh, Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge, it's a new um, browser that was released by Microsoft recently. Uh, I think it was uh, somewhere in May uh, or early June when it was released. The beauty of it is that Microsoft rebuilt Edge uh, based from the ground up uh, based uh, using uh, an open uh, source Chromium project, which is the same code base that is actually used by the Google Chrome. Um, so existing uh, Chrome user, Google Chrome users will not will find it very familiar and will not see much difference. But I have tried it for a few weeks now, uh, and uh, it's amazing the speed. Uh, I haven't had a single crash to this point yet, so it's it's amazing. You're gonna love it. Um, so the first thing you need to do is uh, click on your browser and then type, do a, a search for Microsoft Edge right there. Click on it and uh, make sure you visit Microsoft.com, the website, and click on that. And this is what you're going to be prompted with this. The, uh, the browser already identified that I have Windows 10 installed. Uh, the same thing will happen to you. Uh, and look, you have all the versions, Windows 8.1, you know. I have another machine with Windows 7, and it identified that it, it was Windows 7. So the, the, the browser will immediately identify what kind of operating system you have, what version, and then we'll post it there. Just click on Download, accept the uh, terms and conditions of the download, and then close. As you can see, it downloaded in here. Right-click, and then Show Folder. And it's going to be on the download folder. All you have to do is right click and run as admin. Okay. Or, or open, whichever option is fine with you. And that's about it. Uh, all you have to do is wait for it to be installed. It will download pretty fast. And I'm just going to pause the video and come back until uh, uh, it's uh, completely installed. Okay. So uh, it was already installed. Uh, as you can see, uh, everything that was that I had on the the uh, um, uh, Internet Explorer or Edge that comes with Windows uh, 10 is actually imported into the new browser. Uh, so get started, and you have a few uh, a few options here. One of them is uh, import from Google Chrome, which I can do. I will not do it right now, but you can do it if you want. And all the cookies, uh, uh, favorites, etc., uh, etc., et will be actually imported. Um, so I will continue without exporting right now because I don't need it. Uh, and then that's it. I think I'm ready to go. Uh, confirm. And then uh, here there's three options. Uh, inspirational, meaning that you're going to have a beautiful landscape. Uh, informational, it's going to be more about news, etc., etc., as you can see in the back end, in the background. And uh, focus uh, will be that you will be only have act, you will only see in the back in background just application that you have already uh, that you have used previously or website that you have visited. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it as inspirational. I'm going to confirm and sign in to sync data. I don't want to do that. Uh, I just done now. But if you want, if you have a Microsoft account, you can sign up to Microsoft account. I'm just gonna continue without uh, in uh, signing in. And as you can see, um, let me just open the uh, browser. So I'm going to close everything. And then uh, that's the link right there. Uh, and then I'm just going to run it as administrator. Uh, you can click on open if you want as well. Uh, so uh, it's asking me here, would you like to set Microsoft as your default browser? I'm just going to say, let's go to the settings. And I'm just going to say yes, because I love it. And I'm just going to use it forever. Um, so here, I have I had a Google Chrome as my default browser, and I'm going to send uh, to switch to this one. That's it. Close it, and that's it. You're good to go. Uh, so you can see, uh, you can actually uh, go into the uh, settings here, and um, and you know um, you can do a lot of things in here. Uh, but I don't want to show you this right now because it will be too long and tedious. All I want you to know is that this is very similar to, uh, if you go to the setting, this is very similar to what you see in Google Chrome. Uh, like uh, it has its own privacy services, how you want the privacy, et cetera, et cetera. But that will be the uh, another video that in which I'm, I'm going to explain this. Hope you liked the video. And if you did, please, uh, please uh, click on the like button. 
and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have yourself a great day.